Conditional rendering. When building a UI, you'll often encounter situations like if data exists, render component A, otherwise render component B. In React, there are several ways to achieve this. If a component contains two entirely different UIs based on its state or props, you can simply use an if else statement in the root of the component. When true, return this UI, otherwise return that UI. That works, but in some cases, you might have some initial UI, like a wrapper, then want to render a smaller element or value inside of it. Remember, JSX lives inside of parentheses, which means it's a JavaScript expression, so we cannot use statements inside of it, like if or else. However, we can use the ternary operator to create an expression that does the same thing. A ternary starts with a condition on the left side, like is the number even, followed by a question mark. If the condition is truthy, it will return the first value, but if it's falsy, it will return the second value on the other side of the colon. Now, because React will re-render whenever the prop value changes, we can be assured that it will always show the correct UI based on the value of the prop. Ternaries are great when you have two different UIs to show, but in some cases, you may want to show one component or nothing at all. An alternative approach is to use a condition followed by a logical and. If the condition is truthy, then it will render the component on the right side. That's nice and easy, but you do have to be careful because values like an empty string and zero evaluate to falsy in JavaScript, and that can sometimes lead to unpredictable behavior. So many React developers instead use a ternary operator where the second condition is null. And that's how you render different UI based on changes to your data.